You probably think that, uh, well, first of all, let's zero this out. We're back. Hold on here. There we go. Let's put it on. Saucony Axon 3. Seven. This is saying 7.5 ounces in my size. In my size. What is going on, Saucony? I don't know what's going on. First of all, you probably think, Seth, how much is Saucony paying you to say all this? I wish they were paying me a lot. They're not. They're not paying me anything. They're giving me free running shoes. Thank you, Saucony, for sending all these running shoes. These should have arrived like in February, but they didn't arrive until about, ooh, I think it was late March. Bottom line, we've got another winner, winner, chicken dinner right here. The Saucony Axon 3 value. All right, $89. I just, I was gonna save it. I can't, I can't hold it in anymore. $89, a Saucony Axon 3. Go buy it right now before they sell out, everybody. Here's the crazy thing, uh, midsole material. I'm just gonna put it on the screen so you can read it. It's bio-based, all right? Something to do with sugar cane. I'm not exactly sure the, how they're putting it together. That's an amazing, I think that is one of the major reasons this, mid, this entire shoe is coming across at 7.5, 7.6 ounces in my size. And there are all the scores on your screen. Unbelievable. Now, it's not a magnificent upper. All right, that's why the scores are average. All right, we're talking, it's a barely a decouple, or sorry, not decouple, barely a gusseted tongue. All right, not a perfect tongue, but it, you know what? The eyelet chain is nice though. Not high on the breathability scale. Uh, not extra padding in the heel counter, but it's just getting the job done through that upper. I felt... Honestly, I went, I think I went seven for the lockdown. I probably could have gone a little bit higher because I do love that eyelet chain. You know, the eyelet chain, it's not too narrow. It's wide enough to allow the laces to do their job, to do their business, all right? So there you go on the upper. It's, it's oh yeah, it does have a little pull tab there in the back. Now that midsole, you're getting my gut reaction. I bet it's gonna be high. Actually, let's do the thumb test first and see if I can guess it. Okay. See, ooh, see, all right, so the Matrix, all right, we did a Matrix last week in case you missed it, uh, road running shoe Matrix, we're going daily trainer, firm-ish, but man, man, oh, it's not bad, okay, let's, let's get it, let's get it here, I'm going 45, maybe, maybe, maybe that's a little high. All right, getting 39, getting 39, so a little lower. So I think this is this midsole, I don't think, that's saying 43 on the uh, medial side. The midsole has softened up from the Axon 2. If you picked up the Axon 2 for $100, the Axon 3 is gonna be a little softer, a little more energy return, um, and I'm gonna go high on the durability prediction. All right, if you get pictures, or if you take it to 500 miles, 600 miles, send me pictures, I'm going high on that durability. Let's just do the thumb test to get, oh man, I think you're gonna love it. Now, here's the kicker, the outsole, all right? There's the composition of that outsole. If I can find it, I'll put the rubber on the screen. Um, amazing, not fully plastered, but you are gonna get miles and miles and miles out of that outsole. I love it, everybody. Just perfect outsole material. I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go three millimeters of rubber so especially if you're a heel striker, this is going to be a, a really, really nice heel striking shoe for you. Uh, that I don't know if you can see it there. I'll try and get a close up, but it's just like it's a good two to three millimeters. So you're not going to wear through that rubber, especially if you're striking the heel hard on your through your foot strike. You're going to love, love, love the design of the outsole. The fit was nice. No issues there with the fit. Um, I think I had plenty of room in the toe box. So if you have a little bit of a, a wider foot, I think you should be able to fit into this uh, toe box just fine. Felt normal through the midfoot. And again, the heel pocket was decent. I wouldn't mind a little more padding in that heel counter to improve the uh, lockdown score a little bit in 2024 for the Axon 4. But for now, I'm pleased with that heel pocket. And other shoes to buy on your screen. I went another value shoe. This is so, every now and then, a shoe comes across the wires that is around the $100 price point. Well, Saucony, or sorry, Asics Dynablast 3, all right, from about four months ago. Asics Dynablast 3, I think it's still hovering right around $99, but this guy, $89, 89 right now. So, I don't know, I would go, I would buy this again in a heartbeat. I'm telling you, in a heartbeat, 
I think it's just gonna knock out some really, really nice daily training miles. Not when you wanna go tempo days, not when you wanna, you could use, absolutely use it for an easy day. I would prefer a little softer, more in that 30 range for the durometer, 30 to 35. Even so, I'm okay to go softer than that, but 30 to 35 is pretty typical. So that 38 to 43-ish on that durometer, it's just a little on the firmer side for an easy day, but boy, oh boy. Comment of the day going out to Ayumi. Uh, I love that Seth isn't only reviewing high-end shoes, but also lower range shoes as well. Thanks a lot, Seth, you're welcome. Behold it to no one. Whatever, you, if these companies want to send me shoes, I will test even, even the cheaper shoes. If you want to put, I'm telling you, I'm not even gonna say it because I, I, I I'm telling you, $89. That's all I gotta say. And I just, I really would encourage you to buy the shoe, run in it. If you don't like it, take it back. But if you do like it, when it's like, what's the risk? There's no risk in just in trying out an $89 shoe. And I think. I think the midsole, I think at first you're gonna be like, oh, this is different than Power Run uh, PB midsole material. It's just Power Run Bio, I think is what they're calling it. And so it's gonna feel a little different, but man, oh man, I'm telling you, I think it's gonna do the job. It's just gonna get the job done for you. And I'm always trying to find value shoes, trying to help you pinch some pennies, especially in today's economy. And so there you go. Saucony Action 3. Onward we go, question of the day. What has been your best value buy for ro road running shoes in 2023. Your best value buy. This honestly would probably be really close to the top for me. Only, you know what, the one of the major reasons is because of the outsole rubber. I think it's gonna go and go and go and go. That outsole is just, it's something special. So onward and upward, we'll toss it to the, uh, we'll go Axon 2, Sockety Axon 2, right there. All right, seek beauty, work hard and love each other. See you tomorrow.